Hello everybody, welcome to the Game Factory. I hope you guys are doing well. Finally, today I got the video for you guys about how you can create 10 weapons in Unity. I've tried to cover this topic in easiest manner and build it as simple as possible. So let me put the table of content of what we are going to do today. Create a simple weapon in Blender and then rig it. If you're not familiar with this 3D software or don't use any other 3D software where you can rig or create animations, then this can be a lot more difficult for you. But don't worry, I have uploaded these files and the link would be in the description. But stay with the video because we should know how this works before, before we can implement this in our game. After creating our weapon, we will be talking about how to take it to Unity and write code to perform the calculations to render chains. And then the third step would be to make the weapon react when it gets contact with walls or any other objects like enemy or whatever it is. That would be by shrinking down the length of chain without affecting the curvature or shape of primitive formation. So without wasting any more time, let's get into the video. But before that, I'm very happy to announce that we have somewhere around 385 people subscribed to this channel. We are growing pretty good. It feels good to have you guys here. This will be my motivation to continue with YouTube video. Thank you so much. Uh, but before starting the video, uh, let me tell you something about the channel. I, I try not to create any existing tutorials or videos in this channel. And that's why I'll be creating advanced content that you may not find elsewhere in the internet. And also will be sharing my projects that I'll be working on. So if you are a new viewer or haven't subscribed yet, then please support this channel by subscribing. Uh, with that said, let's get into the video, let's get into it. For me, it's going to be a wrecking ball type weapon that can smash enemies. After having the main weapon, we will model our chain. Let's add Bezier curve and scale it to zero from Y direction. After scaling, don't forget to normalize the curve and also normalize the length of curve handles by pressing Shift plus N and toggling on the length toggle in the option menu. Because the size of handle would help us to calculate the curve points to create a Bezier curve in Unity. So this, this topic may get a lot more confusing for you guys but stay with this video and at the end of this video you either get you would get the point of what I'm talking about. Let's make a simple chain model and after the model has been done let's add an area modifier. Change the fit type to curve and assign the Bezier curve. Create an empty object to align the offset of chain. Check the object offset and assign that empty object. Now rotate that empty object by 90 degrees to get the rotation of chain. Adding a curve modifier to chain and assigning the Bezier curve will do the work. After doing this, we have our simple weapon model that we can work on. Now let's get into rigging. Place the cursor at the first handle and create an armature at that point. This is going to be our root bone. Do the same for the tip of the curve. Also add a new bone at the tip of the chain to control weapon. You can name that weapon controller. After adding three bones, let's add a hook modifier to Bezier curve so that we can assign the bones to control Bezier curve. And also let me tell you guys about the number of points that you can use to create chain weapons. You can have as many points as you want in your chain weapon, just subdivide the Bezier curve. But as per my research and testings, two points are more than enough to get almost all types of curve formations for games. Uh, if you want to go complex, then it's your choice. But let me aware you, having more than two points is going to make your animation process a way more difficult. Let's get back to the topic. Assigning hook make it confusing, so here are the steps. First, select the basic curve and add hook modifier. Now you have to select a handle that you want to assign to a specific bone. After assigning the bone in modifier, hit the assign button. But remember to select only those handles which is to be controlled by the assigned bone. 
we are going to have two hook modifiers for our two handles. After having, having that done, we are going to parent the chain tip bone to weapon controller. And for the next part, instead of parenting weapon controller to root bone, we are going to add a copy transform constraint because we don't want the root bone to affect the rotation of weapon controller mainly when we are animating. But we do want it to control it when it is not being animated or it is at idle state. We just have to change the influence value from 0 to 1 uh, whenever we want to animate the weapon. Doing this will give us a rig that is powerful enough to create many types of chain formations. And at last, don't forget to parent the main weapon to the weapon controller bone. Select the weapon and then shift select the bone and then hit control plus P button on your keyboard and then select bone. And you can change the shape and looks of your bone if you want. I'll be doing so. The step goes like this. Create a controller object, that means just a cube for example. Name it cube controller. Now select the bone and go to pose mode. Go to bone tab and under view port display, select the cube controller as the custom object. Play around with its options for your desired preview. The steps are same for the bone. Also don't forget to disable deform option for every bone because we don't want any sort of skin deformations. Now it's time to animate. I'll be speeding up video for this animation part. After completing the animation, we can now export the model to Unity. You can just export the front weapon, in my case the ball and the rig. You don't have to export the chain with it because it won't work in Unity. We have to create a new chain in Unity that works with this rig as per the chain here. I imported the model to Unity. Now it's time to set up the weapon. I'm creating new scene here and dropping the weapon into the scene. Now let's create a script that calculates the curve for us. I'm not writing the code here in this video because if I do so, then this will make the video longer and boring I suppose. So it would be better if I explain you how it works and give you the idea for your own implementation. Anyway, the files for this project are free to download, you can use it, the link is provided in the description below. Keeping all those things aside, let's come back to the topic. The first thing we are going to do is to extract a curve out of the rig. We have two bones as the root and the tip of the chain. But we should have four points to make or cover the exact shape of chain that we had in Blender. The type of curve we are going to make is known as cubic basic curve. To extract those other two points, we are going to use the bone forward direction or the axis that our bone had that was pointing towards the curve itself. In our case, it's x axis that means the right direction of the bone. So I'm going to take the right direction of the front bone and multiply that with any coordinates of the local scale vector and then again multiply the result with the external float value to control the length or the calculation that we get and finally add that value with the position of first board. This explanation is of course complicated but looking at the script may make you more comfortable to understand. We'll do the same for the last bone but we have to give the opposite of right direction and also instead of adding the position of last bone we have to subtract it because since we already have first second and last point we want to create this point before the final or fourth point. That means this point is going to be our third point. After creating these four points, we are going to convert them into a Bezier curve. You can visit this page in Wikipedia to get deep reading into curves. You'll also find some amazing contents and explanation in YouTube related to Bezier curve. 
And finally, after that, we will convert all the points from basic curve to a line renderer. Create a line renderer to reset its location, rotation, and scale. For the texture and material, you can use any transparent chain material that suits best for your purpose and change the mode from stretch to tile for better result. After having all configs done, let's attach it to the script. At this point, we have a working chain weapon in our game. Now the problem is to fix the weapon getting inside walls. We want the weapon to shrink back if it hits any static object like wall without deforming its primitive shape. But first, let me explain the method that we are going to use to achieve such mechanics. This method of calculation is called linear Bezier curve. Talking about the linear Bezier curve, it takes three values, for example, a, b and the other one as t. It works as shown in this graph. In simple explanation, this function will return the value between two floats of vectors in consideration of given t value. Here's the simple thing we can do, or uh, we are going to do. We are going to calculate the distance between the first bone and the last bone. Doing this, it will give us a float value that we are going to be calling it as required distance. After that, we are calculating the current distance by subtracting the starting point and hit point, then checking its magnitude. Now we have two values, required distance and current distance. If we divide current distance by required distance, then we will get a float value of 0 to 1. That float value is going to be used to slide those abstract points that we created before by using linear Bezier calculation. So uh, let me tell you guys, this is the change that is going to be happening in our point formation. First we will create the first root point, then we will create the second point and then we will create the fourth point before the third one because we have to specify the final point to the ray cast hit location if any walls or objects are in contact and only then we are going to create the third point so first second fourth and third that is how we are going to be building our new page curve at last we have our working chain weapon and uh, let me tell you guys adding weapon chain weapon is quite hard job to do because in this process you may not get chance to use humanoid rig for your character which means you, you can't use external animation again repeat you can download the files from the description below this thing would feel more simpler after you had a look at the code i just explained the process without going deep and making an hour long tutorial so it just doesn't get too boring to watch Hope you guys liked the video and if you learned at least anything from this video or think it provides some value then please do support me by subscribing this channel, like this video and hit the bell icon to get notified whenever I upload a new video. And also for new viewers, I'm creating simple God of War fan made game in Unity which I am going to be completing soon. This project would be like a challenge for, or practice for me as well. And I like God of War very much but instead of copying the game and making it worse i will try to add something my own and will be sharing the game ideas and methods that i've used during the process right in this channel i'll wrap this video here thank you very much for watching and hope you guys have an awesome time